All right, friends, welcome back. Um, wanted to do something that popped into my head the other day, which was test. Obviously, you've seen, if you live in Victoria, New South, Queensland, there's all these power blackouts and warnings and things like that. So I thought I'd better dig out the Roby. Haven't used it at all, haven't started it since last year when I did the review on this particular one. So if you haven't seen that and you want to check it out, jump back, have a look at it. But I um, wanted to see, A, is it going to start up relatively easy after being in storage for 12 months? Um, and B, I went down to JCAR and picked up one of these watt meters. Now, this is a 2600 watt, if I am correct. Yeah, 2600 watt. And I want to see if you can actually get more power out of these than 2600 or if you're capped or if you're short. Um, so I went down and bought one of these little watt meters. So you plug this in and it will show you the wattage of what, you, what you're using. So what I did, um, instead of trying to lug the TV out here and everything else, I have gone and grabbed everything that's remote uh, that I can, a couple of vacuums, power tools, lights, uh, hair, dryers, just turn it all on and see what sort of power that we're gonna get. So let's, uh, first let's try and fire, plug it in and then we'll try and fire this thing up and see how it goes. Oh, we've run into a problem straight off the bat. <sighs> well, that's a bit annoying. I'm going to have to go get an extension. All right, we're back. Got a double adapter. That fits in there nicely. Now, what I'll do is get my other little camera and set that up here in the front so that you can see what the wattage is using. Now, I've absolutely no idea if this needs, if this is gonna have enough slots left, if it's gonna overload or what, but um, just daisy chained two extension power boards to that. Um, let's, uh, let's give it a go. Let's try and start it up first, so. Engine switch is set to on already. Uh, I think that's where it needs to be. Now there's fuel in it. I left it, there's plenty of fuel in it. Switch is set to on. Choke. Handle. Now this will be interesting. Like I said, it's been stored for probably 12 months since the last storms, which were in June, and we're June again. So, got a 400 watt pump, 400 watt lamp, 2200 or 2300 watt vacuum. So, it should be enough theoretically to overload. Let's uh, let's give it a whirl. So we got to 2680 and as you can hear it was really really struggling so pretty much right on the money for what it says um which is interesting but i guess good you're getting what you pay for you're not getting under it uh, so as you can see there pretty much it's safe working ratio is right on that 24 to 2600 watts um so you just need to be very mindful of what you're going to plug into it if you get this particular model um you know tvs 
fridge is, have a look at the stickers on them, add it up. You'll know if you start to overload it, it'll change the, the volume, will change quite dramatically, as you could tell from there. But A, at least I know it started up after 12 months, and B, it's still going, and I know exactly what I can put in there and what I can't. So, yeah. Anyway, I hope that's been informative and you enjoy it. Leave me a comment, let me know if you've got any questions about it. Um, and I'll put it back in storage now until the next power outage. Thanks again for watching. Cheers.